Bible, I know that every one of us love what is written in that place, in Psalm 102. And it's seven. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper. They shall prosper that love thee. You cannot be in our country, Nigeria. Many people are coming to Nigeria because Nigeria is a blessed country. Amen. Nigeria is being recorded as number one in Africa. And it is not lie. It is true. In everything. You, we cannot be Nigerians, answering Nigerians, and we are crying every day for money, for this, for that. No. One man of God said, you don't pray for money to come. What you have to pray is against what is hindering the money from coming. Do you understand that, 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 that statement? He said, you don't pray for money to come because God has given us money already. He said, you pray against what is hindering the money from coming. And it is true. It is true. So when we pray against whatever that is hindering the money from coming, money will flow into our hands in Jesus' name. And verse 7, he said, peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Peace be within thy walls. Once again, we are going to pray for our country, Nigeria. You pray for yourself. You are a Nigerian. You will never be a Nigerian and you are lacking. Here is LLNG. They tell you how much LLNG is given to federal government of Nigeria every day. You will fold your hand. And we cannot be here and we are lacking. It will never happen in Jesus' name. From today, things will turn around. I said, things will turn around. Things will turn around. Spiritually, all around, things will turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. If you have any prayer requests, if you have to also, please go and meet them and share your testimony so that opportunity will be given to you to come and share your testimony. Today is a day of celebration. In Jesus' mighty name, I said in Jesus' name, it is the will of God for you and for me to succeed in life. It is the will of God Almighty for me to make progress. If there is anything contrary, 
That is not the will of God. That's the work of the enemy. Today, by the power in the name of Jesus, those contrary things will bow. I say they will bow. Whether it is every day you are spending money buying drugs, buying drugs that you're supposed to use for things in the house of God, you are using it buying drugs, it will stop today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever that it is, the Lord said, upon me and I will answer. And to As we speak in the spirit of the Lord, all those things will bow in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to lift up yourself this morning into the hand of the Lord and pray that Almighty are here for God, that He should not allow you to go back in the same way as you came. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the And I present myself to you this morning. Search me, O oh Lord. Search me, O oh Lord. Search me, O oh Lord. Is there anything in my life, my sin, unbelief, that can hinder my blessing today? Search me, O oh Lord, and take them away. In Jesus' name we pray. Christ, we pray. As I said earlier, the man of God said against what is hindering the money. Said money is there, but the things that are hindering the money, which is true. The Bible said that. We are not fighting, but against, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are going to pray this morning and say, Oh Lord, whatsoever be power, whatever it is that is causing problem in my life, causing penury in my life, causing setback in my life, Father, this morning, I take authority in that. Open your mouth and take authority. Open your mouth and take authority. Whatever instrument that the enemy has been using, Morning. Lord God, whatever it is coming from any direction, coming village, coming from the company where I am living, coming from an endless place, coming from no unknown no places, Lord, fighting against my finance, let that power this morning be broken. Let that power this morning be broken. Let that power die.
Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2 and verse 3, he said, And I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. And I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in asunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee, I will give thee, and I will give thee the heat treasures. I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches in secret that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. That is the promise of God. The Lord said, I will go before you and I will make the crooked straight and the rough will smooth. You are going to decree this morning and say, Lord, Every crooked way in my life. Crooked way could be unwanted circumstances, conditions, crying, weeping. You're going to pray this morning. Say, Lord, every crooked way, every crooked turn in my life, not according to your will. Father, this morning, all those darkness, let everything Away in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. My great darkness, my family, killion, darkness of disappointment, darkness of frustration, darkness of setback, darkness of poverty, darkness of hindrances, spiritual darknesses, and walk of darkness. This morning, oh Lord, do other house break in pieces, break in pieces. Break in pieces. Break in pieces. Break in pieces. All the arrows of the enemy that says I will not make progress in this year 2022. Break in pieces. All the pit of the enemies. Let him in the dig pit fall into his pit. I will not be victim of it. Break in pieces.
the Lord will break in pieces. Every iron gate, every brass gate, every serpentine spirit, every familiar spirit, whatever name it is, all those darkness, the Lord will break them in pieces. The Lord will break them in pieces. In Jesus' name we pray. Still talking about the gate. When we take, we want to enter into a compound or into an office. The company compound. And there's, if that gate is not open for you, if security has not opened the gate for you, you cannot enter. You may be outside saying, I want to see the manager, I want to see the director, I want to see this, I want to see that. The security man says, sir, the person you are talking about is not around. The person might be there because it's opened. When the gate is opened, you will enter and you will meet the person you are looking for. Here in Psalm 24, I read verses 7. From verse 7. He said, lift up your heads, O ye guests. Lift up your heads, O ye guests. And be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting. And the king of glory shall come in. Amen. When the door is lifted up, that was Jesus speaking in the book of Revelations, in chapter 3, verse 8, verse 8, he said, I open the door that no man can shut. When the key when the door is opened, I am telling you that nothing can restrict it. He said, open the doors and doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your eyes, get even. Lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in Jesus' name. You are going to lift up your head this morning, your hands this morning, and say, Oh Lord, all the gates, gates of the enemy, gates of darkness, gates that have been hindering me all these years, that I came to this island, that I've been in this island, gate of hindrance, gate of failure, gate of sickness, this morning, let the gates be lifted up. Let it get to be lifted up. Let it get to be lifted up. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Any gate that have been hindering us, any gate that have been limiting us, let it be lifted up this morning. When the gate is lifted up, the King of Glory shall come in. We shall testify. Talk to the Lord this morning. Of our mind, we shall come. This is that day that the Lord have said. This is the day that the Lord have said. Out them out. Speak this morning. Speak this morning. The gate shall be open unto you. And when the opens, you will enter. You will enter. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I said, in Jesus' name, we pray. Just believe the Lord this morning that you have spoken Spoken, and the Lord have answered you in the name of Jesus Christ. The requests that are here before me, there are many. You may not take them one by one. You want to lift up our hands, stretch our hands towards the altar, and commit this prayer request 
into the hand of the Lord that God Almighty will answer this prayer request. He said that we should write down our visions, that we should make it plain upon the table, that it may run, that we get it. Lift up your hands and praise the Lord. We commit this prayer. The prayer of the writers, you know, things that are written here, Lord, answer these prayers. Everlasting Father, answer these prayers. Answer these prayers, O Lord. You know the heart of the writers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Church, give me a ladder. Amen. Amen. The Lord say, happy is that man. Happy is that woman that they put his trust in me. These writers, they put their trust in the Lord. And God Almighty will not disappoint them in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord because of this prayer request. You know the heart of the writers. You know everything that are written here. Father, we know that you are not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have you said, and would that not do it good? Father, I pray that you to answer this request one after the other in the name of Jesus Christ. And bless your people, O oh Lord, that as they will be going back home, they will know that God that answered by fire has answered in their prayers in Jesus' name. To Lord, because we believe you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Please, let's have our seat. Church, praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Are you happy to be here today? I say, are you happy to be here today? Put your hands together for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we want to take uh, testimonies. We want to call on Sister Susan or watch your to come up here of Deeper Life Bible Church MPN to come and share with us the blessings of the Lord upon her life. Jesus. My name is Sister Susan. Our oh, child by his grace, I'm saved. From the Bala Bible Town Group, Bonnie Region. Praise the Lord. To testify of the great God is for me. But last year, Just few ones because of time. It went that one day I, was going to, I went for morning calls because I usually used to do that. I never knew that the devil has planned for himself. But he has forgotten the promise. It turns always to the end of the world. Praise the Lord. So that very day I launched out. I went. And as I was rounding up, all these good, good people, putting on black and black, they were just coming. 
one thing. I don't know what they were. Is that that Ikuba area? I went that morning. So as they were coming, and I was rounding up, I was not moved. I don't know the group. They call them all these Oboni people. I didn't even know that every um, every first August they normally used to come out to do sacrifices. But they, before that, God has already gone ahead of them. Maybe my being has spoiled everything. Praise the Lord. So while I was I was I just rounded up and I was passing by them. I, I didn't know what they did. But God just opened my eyes. I just saw as if angels. God just opened my eyes. I saw the whole heaven surrounding me. Lord. And that's how nothing happened to me. When I came, I thought that those people are evil people. But they were singing church song to camouflage what they were doing. I was even these people. Then just a few weeks ago, I was just coming out from our project area and on my way, I was rushing to go for workers meeting. I was carrying my team in front of me. I want to just cross. I knew it. But do you know how God did it? If you see Like man, gushing out. But before my own just cucumber bag, like bed, he just threw it. I don't know how the thing flew out of my hand. He just threw it on the and I just saw myself. I just lied on it. Praise the Lord. That's how God did. And when I look at myself, it just small scratch. Praise the Lord. God has been so faithful. Then I also want to thank God for my family members. It was on. So just last December, we were asked to come home for family deliverance, though I was not able to make it, but all of them, almost all of them went, and the whole thing was successful. Even though the enemy threatened that as they are going, they are also planning that they are not going to go back in good faith. Maybe they were planning for themselves and not for my sisters and brothers. So at the end of the day, God led them back to their various homes and destinations, different states they came from, and everything was a huge success. May the Lord's name be exalted in Jesus' name. I'm here to show you God for not even pray for a thing. Because I go out to preach. Before you know it, I just be yesterday. God answered. I prayed again. God answered before I came here. And as you pray today, God will keep us answering you in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord Almighty take all the glory in Jesus' name. Really, there's power in evangelism. You know, many of us, we don't understand. We use uh, unnecessary things to occupy ourselves. We don't know that there is a power in evangelism. There is, there is of a truth. And I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Now we call on the second testifier, Pastor Dunka Kosi. Please come up and share a testimony. You have a few minutes. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. God is here. I say God is here. Amen. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm Pastor Kossi. Uh, my testimony goes this way. Some time ago, there was a young lady, youth, related to me. He always sick. Stomach bites. And each time this thing happened, it will take him almost one month, sometimes three weeks. She cannot eat when this problem will start. And I brought that request here. Time to time, we prayed. On a particular day, I was just sit at the center road here. We were in prayers. I had very sharp crying. I didn't know she was crying. Or she was 
from the choir staff. As we just come directly to me, I was struggling. Sometimes my mind tells me to look at that child that is crying. I was struggling and I'm fighting. I say after the fight, where the child the cry is coming from. Surprisingly, as we ran up the prayer, I look at choir stand. There is nobody there, no child even there. In my mind, I was, what is that crying? What is the meaning of time? How crying was coming when after a few times that very day that was when operation was going on. Amen. So I re received that message. I called the girl all the way she was in Abuja. I called the girl. I said, I is your body. It's not with any fighting anymore. After another month, I will call her. She will say there is nothing like that. I tried this for almost three occasions. A particular day, she sent me a text message that I should never remember her again that the sickness has gone and it is working with a doctor doctor have been trying all nothing happened but right in this region somebody the way to Abuja today she called me and said to marry her may God who is always to answer us Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Lord Jesus Christ. Put your hands together. Put your hands. The Lord will have you in your own life today. In Jesus' name. From your head to your toe. Wherever it has been paining you, wherever it is paining you, whether it is in your eye, whether it is in your head, your chest, liver. Kidney, any to perform operation in your life, body today in Jesus' name. Let's rise up on our feet and thank the Lord God Almighty for these testimonies, believing that your own testimony is granted. Open your mouth and thank the Lord and say, Father, I thank you for these testimonies. I thank you for these testimonies. My own testimony is sure. My own testimony is sure. God Almighty will be shown in your life. Any kind of oppression, any kind of oppression. Are you looking for change? Whatever that is there is brought. God Almighty will take away that fire brought. Whatever that occupy the place. God will perform oppression. That fire brought will disappear. God will perform oppression in your body this morning. In Jesus' name, 
we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A righteous Father in heaven, we thank you very much once again this morning. Thank you for the wonders you've done in our midst. We thank you, Lord, for always answering our prayers. That is the thing that gives us faith. And that's the thing that makes us here every Wednesday. Thank you for the testimonies you put in the mouths of your children. Lord, we appreciate you. We are faithful. You are faithful. You are kind. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for us in Jesus' name. Lord, commit this meeting into your almighty hands. I pray, Father, let the Lord continue to be with us. And we follow you from you. Lord, no one will go empty handed in In Jesus' name, I pray. Let everybody say louder, Amen. Amen. As you are still standing, we are going to sing from between hymns and songs, hymn number 21. G H and S two one. Hymn number twenty one. When the strong tides lift and the cables. It is safely storm for this well secure hand to mine can defy the blast through strength in the stress of fear. Near and the wild winds blow, not a child in the flood of death when the waters cold chills. A little he can never, while our hopes abide, our eyes. Behold, through the gathering night, the city of gold, our harbor bright. We shall anchor fast by the heavenly shore. With the storm, all pass forevermore. We have an the soul, steadfast and sure, while the below's roar. Which cannot move, grounded fame and devious love.
And the church is alive again. While they are still standing, close your eyes. Commit to the Lord. Say, God, this morning, let my anger hold. Let my anger hold on you. Lord, my eyes is on you. As I look up to you, let me not fall. Let me not be disappointed. Have me mercy on me this morning. Open your mouth, pray that prayer now. Talk to God. Talk to God. Believe God. Your anchor shall not drift. Pray that prayer now.
In Jesus' name we pray. In his mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you once again this morning. Thank you because you have never brought us out here in vain. And Lord, before you brought us here, you have prepared some packages to every one of us. Lord, I'm praying that as many that are here this morning, you receive all that you have for them in Jesus' name. No one will come here and go back the same. Everyone here are going to be satisfied. Thank you, Lord, because I believe it is done. As we want to listen to your word now, speak to your people and give them grace to understand and to obey and put everything into practice and bless everyone mightily at the end in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Before you sit down, you give me another amen. You can please be seated. This morning, we start wasting time on the faith. The topic is your faith will speak for you. Thank you very much. That woman is in the spirit. And this morning, whether you like it or not, whether you have faith or not, by the grace of God, I have faith. And that sister, they have faith. My faith and our own will speak on our behalf. If you believe, shall a louder amen. amen. Your faith will speak for you. In Mark Gospel, chapter 5. Mark Gospel, chapter 5. I want to read in verse 25 all through 34. Mark Gospel from verse 25 to 34. I read. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all, all that she had and was being bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had of when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garments. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude trunking thee, and saying, Thou who touched me. And, and he looked at her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing what was done in her came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto him, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole and In First Samuel chapter 17, First Samuel chapter 17, I want to read from verse 44 to 47. First Samuel chapter 17, from verse 44 all through to 47, I read. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the powers of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, 
the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hands, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. This the Lord said, for the battle is the Lord. We will give you into our hand. Can the church say louder? Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, the topic is your faith will speak for you. You see the scripture that I read to you. All of them are not new to you. They are well familiar, but unfortunately, some of us have not been borrowing something from them. But this morning, I believe God, they are going to borrow something from these people. In the first a text I read in Mark Gordon chapter 5 from verse 25. You saw a woman. A woman. The Bible says this woman was suffering from the issue of blood. This one, women understand better. And the Bible says she suffered for a dozen years. That is for good 12 years. And while this thing was disturbing her, she went there, nowhere. She went to this doctor, nowhere. She went to this physician, nowhere. She went to, and the Bible says she suffered much in the hands of all the physicians, but all to no avail. Nothing happens. And then, thank God for her. She heard about Jesus. And the Bible says this woman said, that if I will touch but the hem of his garments, I shall be made whole. Just like, just like that. And the Bible says, in the midst of the multitudes, the woman meant that, the woman meant that, the woman meant that, and touch as she had faith on. She did not have faith that Jesus will lay hand on her and pray for her before she received miracle. She did not have faith to go and kneel down for Jesus to pray for her. But she had faith that if I would touch the hem of his garments, I shall be made whole. And according to her faith, she meant that as soon as she touched him of Jesus in secret, he didn't want anybody to know. He didn't want anybody to see. But she touched. And after touching, miracle happened. Miracle happened. Jesus was going on. Morning. What is there in your heart? What you are passing through. And with that board, I said, today, I must enter that solution hour. I will not miss. I'm going to pray. God is going to answer my prayer. Your faith will work for you. I say your faith will work for you. If you believe, shout another amen. Jesus, knowing what happened, turn around. Who touched me? Who touched me? Somebody has touched me. Yes, I know it. I feel it. Then the disciples say, ah, ah, can you, how can you say it like that? Look at the crowd. Look at the multitude. It's possible. Because God, as the person trunking on you, this one will jam you. And then you say, who touched me? Jesus knew what happened. And then, thank God for the boldness of the woman. The Bible says the woman came up and knelt down and said, Lord, and I am the one. Jesus said, daughter, your plague is over. Your faith has made thee whole. In the same way, this morning, I tell you, your faith will make you whole. If you believe, shall I allow that? Amen. Now, in the second text, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, you all know the story of David. David, 
was a man of faith. He was a man after God's heart. Let, listen to me. Let me give you a brief story. Now, David, you know David. David, he committed sin with Uriah's wife. And in the process, he killed Uriah's husband. And now, he killed Uriah's. Now, when he did all these things, I said within me, I asked myself a question. So I asked the same question. How is it that David committed this sin? He committed adultery. He killed the husband. And then God said, a man after my own heart. This is one of the things. David was faith. David did not cover up anything. If you go to Psalm 51, you see it. When Nathan, when God sent Nathan to expose him, and then he humbled himself, and they cried unto the Lord for forgiveness, and apologized to God, God forgave him. And then right from that time, he's been building faith in God. He's been trusting in God. He's been standing on the world. Before now, the children of Israel were fighting with the Philistines. And the Philistines came up. And Israel, the only little knowledge, it seems that the children of Israel were afraid. And they were running. And we were afraid. I would the other man, Goliath, very tall, huge, giants, very strong, full with gadgets. Everywhere, cover up with armor, and then he came out. He came out, and then begin to burst. Now come, we are going to fight. If you win, if you kill me, then my people are going to surrender to you. They're going to be, you're going to be under you. But if I kill you, then you are going to surrender to us. They are going to be under us. And now, David was there, a young boy, anointed man, a man of faith. No matter how small he was, when God is with you, when God is majority, when you have faith as a little of mustard seed, you command the mountain to move, and the mountain shall move. This morning, that mountain in your life shall move. If you like, you say amen. If you don't like, stay there. But whether you like it, it must move in Jesus' name. When he had that, he was angry. He went out. He went out. He said, yeah, come. Come. Listen to me. I said, when God sees your faith, your miracle will take place. And then uh, David went out. And then God compared himself. He's a, a, a tall man, very huge. He has years of experience in the war. He has been fighting, conquered many countries, big, big, giant people. And this small one, this small one, he said, I'm a dog. He's going to kill you, He's going to scatter you. He's going to. And then David said, Look, let me tell you. Are you there with me? I'm putting my own word, my word is. David in the search. David says, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you are tall or not. It doesn't matter whether you have I'm, God is going to fight for me. And then when David come up, I say, look man, that today the God of Israel that you defile is going to fight for me. And that that God that you defile his name will hand you over into my hand. I'm going to kill you. The bed of the earth will eat your flesh. Can we say amen to that? Praise the Lord. Is that not it? Is that not the word of faith? I'm just imagining. I'm just imagining because the Bible says that if you pick a stone and put in the sling in our own interpretation because we don't know what is sling. What we know is catapults. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. And then the Bible says, David picked a stone and put 
and then, and then, and then. Are you there with me? Time, him, time him. Just imagine somebody that put helmets, somebody that cover everywhere. Somebody that now the, 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 the stone, the little stone went, 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 went straight into his forehead and he fell. Whoa. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Now, I'm thinking, what do you think that that little stone? The if, if after now let's go out. The block is there. I will put it If you die, the Lord. If David had in God, and that that is why he was able to speak the word of Israel, whom you defile, is going to bring you into my hand, and I'm going to kill you. Just imagine. Imagine this man, David, only with a pot with a small stone. When, when, what, as the man talking, was walking, pursuing the man. God said, This, this boy, this boy is too much. If this boy can believe in this boy, can know that I can fight for him, can fight for him, even though his brothers, elders are running away, even though King Saul was running away, if this boy can trust me to that level, I'm going to prove to him that I am with me, and I am with him. My beloved brothers and sisters, this morning I want to tell you, if you will exhibit the life of faith, I don't know what I'm passing through, I tell you that thing is small in the sight of God, and God will fight for you in Jesus' name. I want to divide this message under three subheadings. Number one, present yourself to the Lord for your healing and miracle. Present yourself to the Lord for your healing and miracle. Proclaim the word of faith for your miracle. Proclaim the word of faith for your miracle. Point number two. Present, sorry. Point number two, persevere in prayer to the Lord for your miracle. Point number three, proclaim the word of faith. Are you there with me? Now, let's go to point number one. What is point number one there? Only one person wrote down. Only one person wrote down. No wonder you used to forget the word of God very easily. When they ask you, what did they present? I don't remember, I don't remember, because they will not be writing it down from today. Come with their daughter to the fellowship. Do you say amen? I said, do you say amen? Point number one, present yourself to the Lord. Finding a miracle. When God is going to heal. If you present yourself to the Lord, you are going to get the miracle. Can we say Amen. In chapter 7, verse 24 to 30. Mark Gospel, chapter 7, from verse 24 to 30. Are you there with me? If you are there, answer. If you are not there, I wait for you. If you say Amen. In, and, and went into the border of Thai and, and entered into, into a house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hit. For certain woman spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a is a Phoenician by a nation, and she besought him, but the devil, out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord. Yet, the dogs under the table eat of the 
children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her, she found the devil and her daughter laid upon the bed. Can you just say amen to that? Yes. That is another woman of faith. And the Bible says her daughter was sick. And as her daughter was sick, she also heard about Jesus. And then she went to Jesus and besought him that he should carry her daughter. And now when he told Jesus, please, tell the condition, Jesus said, my sister, we didn't carry children and give to the dogs. I don't, we don't drink bread and give dogs. There with me? Are you there with me? That word, if you are the one, sounds sweet in your ear. It does not sound sweet. It does not sound sweet. Yes, because we don't carry children bread. That means to say we don't carry the healing of the children we give to the dogs. That means that this girl is a dog. Is bread and give to the dog. We don't carry children blessing, children healing, children miracle, and, and give to the dog. If some of you here, say like that, some of you here will not greet me again. Some of you here will not greet me again. You will not near where I am. Look at, look at, eh, because uh, other people went and received miracle. Other people went. A woman with the issue of blood went and received miracle. Eh, St. Judah went and received miracle. That's how my own used to be. That's my own, that's how I used to be. As I went to my daughter, he said, you call me dog. He called me dog. To be angry and went away. But not the Lord. Jesus said, be bread and give to the What Jesus meant was that the blood is for the Gentiles. You don't go and heal the Gentiles. You don't go and bless the Gentiles. And he did very well. And the woman said, It's true. But you sit on that the table. When the children eat, the little will fall. It falls. The children will eat the word of faith. They are too much. They are too much. They are faith. Their daughter is healed. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 7. Luke, I read Luke chapter 7 from verse 1. Luke chapter 7 from verse 1. Are you there? Now, when he entered, he entered into Capernaum, and a certain servant there unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him to come and heal his servants. And when they came to Jesus, they sought him instantly, saying that he was for whom he do this. For he loved our nations, and he had built us synagogue. I was now not far from the house. The centurions sent friends to him, Lord. Trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou should enter under my roof. Is I myself worthy to come unto thee? The word. I 
and my servant shall be healed. Can I hear loud that amen to that? And I also, a man, sit under authority. Having a and go, and he go it, and to another camp, and he come in. And to and it. When Jesus had these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the fellow team, I say unto you, I have found so great no, not in Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, and found the servant whole that had been sick. Can you hear me to that? Praise the Lord. The message, the story very clear to everybody, true or false. Yes, some people may not understand. Centurion was a commander of the army. And according to his words, he had many people, you know, body guard. And he has people under his control. According to him, he will send message. He will not go by himself. He will tell this one, go and do this, he will do. Go and do that, he will go. Come here, they will come. Stand there, they will stand. Even that very day, he did not go by himself. He sent some people to go and tell Jesus that his child's daughter is sick. Jesus said, okay, I'm coming. And these people say, this is our man. is for us. In fact, you must do something. Jesus said, I'm coming. I'm coming. So Jesus went with them. Very close. We don't know how close it was. But the Bible says, far from the house. And when centurion saw the man of the, the son of God coming, he sent his friend, please rush. Tell him to come inside. Tell him, I'm not fit. Not fit. I know him. I know his power. I know his power. Let me tell you, Jesus has power. Power. He has power in his word. There is power. In his, there is power in the ground where he stands. There is power. Everything about Jesus, there is power. And say this, you are powerful than me. I am a commander, but you are powerful than me. Speak your word. When you speak your word, I shall be healed. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. This And then Jesus said, was not an Jesus looked that he came to die for. They didn't even believe him to this power that he has. But look at this one. If for that work, for that faith, your daughter is healed. The Bible says immediately. Everybody says immediately they are going to receive Miracle this morning. Believe shall and amen. If you look at the two stories I read to you, these two people, these two people, the woman that had the child, he went to Jesus. Two of us. Yes, he went to Jesus. And then the centurion, he sent people to Jesus. And they went to Jesus. They didn't stay in their houses. They didn't stay and then and, and then mama and complaining. He sent to Jesus. And so it's a big challenge. It's a big lesson to all of us. Make sure that every fellowship day you are there in the church and receive their miracle. Monday Bible study. You must be there. You must be there. prayer. You must be there. Crusade that is coming, you must 
be there. If you receive miracle, stay in your house, a miracle will pass away from you. In Hebrews chapter 10, look at what the Bible says. In Hebrews chapter 10, in verse 25, a command. Don't forsake the assembly yourself together. In Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10 in verse 25. Hebrews chapter 10. Are you there? In verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exalting one another and so much the more. As you see, the, that is the word of God. That is the command. That is instruction. On failure day, don't forsake yourself to, to assemble yourself together. On Monday, Bible Revival, in the house fellowship, on Wednesday, solution hour. You assemble How is the manner of some people? Yes, some people on Sunday, that is the day they want to walk. Heaven and earth on Sunday to town meeting meeting than to be in the house of God. That is the manner of some manner of some people on Monday Bible study. Some will be there in the shop, some will be in the market, some in make money. Some of you have been laboring, 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 all to no avail. But this is Amen. I want to sell it. Yes. Devil is very. Devil knows what to gain. We are going to get. And that is why, when the time of fellowship, you will bring two people, bring three people, bring, bring people, when he knows that the time of fellowship. Is late, you cannot go again. It will cut off. People will come again. And you stay there, no market. And then begin to blame yourself. Hey, look at me. Fellowship, I no good. The market, I no good. And then begin to battle with condemnation. This morning, God will deliver you. Can I hear louder? Amen. Some people that are doing overtime. Some people running cyclists during the fellowship hour. Some people are selling, 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 selling. They're selling. They're Make, they make money and become happy. After making money, after that, the time is supposed to go to church and pray for himself, pray for the family, pray for the husband, pray for the children, pray for the success, and then it will be there. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Falling there. Problem happen. All that money, the devil wipe away. Has it not been happening to you like that? You have not been watching. Some of you have been watching and then regret. From today, you must make up your mind. To meet with Jesus. As you meet with Jesus, your miracle will be waiting there for you in Jesus' name. In Acts chapter 2, in verse 42, Acts of Apostle chapter 2, in verse 42, what does the Bible say? In verse 42, the Bible says, And they continue steadfastly in apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in being of in the that's the apostles. No wonder he goes. No wonder as they prayed, God released Peter by force and Peter came down. No wonder they received anointing. No wonder they were bold to preach the gospel to everywhere. And the word of God, by the grace of God, came to meet us here. My beloved brothers, my beloved sisters, if you gather as together for miracle, for good success, for healing. I'm telling you, help it the limit of our blessing this year. And all of us will be in the Bible study. All of us will be on Thursday revival. All of us must be on Sunday fellowship. All of us, as from next Wednesday, this hall will be filled in Jesus' name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Point number two. Point number two, persevere in prayer. 
to the Lord for your miracle. Persevere in prayer for your miracle. In Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17 from verse 14. Matthew chapter 17 from verse 14. Are you there with me? I read. And when they were come to the multitude, they came to him, a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vexed. For often time he falleth into the fire and up into the water. And I brought him to the disciples, and they could not cure. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perfect generations, how long shall I be with you? How long bring him thither to me? And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart, said, Why could not we cast him out? In verse 20, look at it. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? This kind goeth not out but by prayer and praise the Lord. Persevere. Many of our members are complaining. God has miracle. Many are mourning. Many are angry with their pastors. Many are even angry with God because of their problems, because of their challenges. But the fault is in their hands. But the reason of not getting their miracle is that they have not been praying. They have not been praying. They have not been crying unto God. They have not been seeking of God, if them are praying casually, not serious about it, their plan, their miracle is persisting. Look at this man. The Bible says this man went to Jesus. His son was a lunatic. A lunatic is in the form of madness or epilepsy. And now the Bible says this thing, when the thing happened, either if he's near the water, you throw the water the fire, you threw him in the fire they have been trying and trying and trying all to no avail but he went to Jesus he took the child to his, to his disciples and the child prayed, 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 nothing happened and they become tired they left and he took the child to Jesus in a simple prayer in a simple prayer the Bible says Jesus cast out the demon and the child was healed. And the disciples were surprised. They were surprised. After they prayed and bind and cast, nothing happened. And then they went to Jesus. Yes, my Lord. We well, prayed and prayed and prayed. Nothing happened. Why? Why? Jesus said, it's because of unbelief. If you believe, and, and, and command the mountain to move, and the mountain shall move. That mountain, I used to say, is not Cameroon Mountain, not Cameroon Mountain. Cameroon Mountain is the highest mountain in Africa. Not Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. That mountain is that big problem. So sometimes you lie down, sleep, you wake up. As you wake up, whether 2 o'clock, whether 1 o'clock, whether 12 o'clock, no sleep again in your eyes. You'll be thinking and thinking and thinking. And sometimes you burst into tears and be crying and crying and crying. My, my beloved brothers and sisters, stop crying. Have faith in God. That is the mountain that is disturbing you. Sometimes, because of house rent, 
They are thinking and thinking and thinking. What will I do? What will I do? The next thing, let me go to the region. As you come to the region, he said, my, my brother, expense is too much, no money. You become angry. Hey, they don't want to help me. They've been helping others. Please stop being angry. Have faith in God. Some of you there, you know what they are passing through. No work. We have stayed there for years. Others will come from the north. Others will come from the west. Others will come everywhere and work. But you that were here for years, nothing happened. Nothing happened. You say bad luck. Bad luck. There's no bad luck anything. It's because you don't have faith. Look at what Jesus says. Jesus said, this go except by what? Fasting and prayers. Fasting and prayers. Some of you here, if we are now fasting and prayer, no go near here. No go near here. It be like to pray that you die. But in your house, some of you in the morning, you start to stay in the morning from morning and walk, 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 walk. Before you eat, two o'clock, three o'clock. You don't die. But if they say, come to fasting and prayer, that day you die. God will forgive you this morning. Can you check? God will see your faith in Jesus' name. This go with not by fasting and prayer. Let me ask you, when did you suspend anything? You say, God, today, if I want to Let me die in you. Help me. You must deliver me. You, 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 and then yes, and next, if you like, six to twelve, according to your strength, you pray, you pray, you concentrate on that. You are not doing it. You are murmuring, you are complaining. Ex fasting and prayer. These are things ordinary prayer does not do. The things ordinary prayer does not work. And then we give you illustration. Look at a tree here. Look at that mango tree here. If you like, take take kitchen knife. Go there and saw it. So it is mango tree. Nothing will happen. Sometimes take matches. You cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and cut. You may cut up to two hours, one hour, your hand will pain before the thing will fall. But if you bring machine, sewing machine, krr, 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 10, 15 minutes, the thing will fall away. That's how fasting and prayer is. That's how fasting and prayer is. There are some prayer, prayer, you pray, you pray. Listen to me. God answers prayer depending on. There are some prayer, you kneel down like this and pray. As you get up, you receive miracle. The prayer that you pray, it takes you one month, it takes you six months, it takes you three months before answer comes. But when you apply fasting and prayer, that fasting shows God that you have faith, you believe, you don't believe in your food, your rice is there, your kitchen, your, your, your okasi soup is there, your, your, your apple is there, you don't want to eat it, you believe in God, that's what you're bound on it. And then you face God, and when God sees your faith, knowing that before now you used to and some of you eat because of you want him to do something for you you abandon it you face him when god sees that faith god will answer your prayer brothers and sisters what are you passing through you know yourself you know your desire you stand and pray when you rise up and pray miracle will happen to you can you allow that amen in Second Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles chapter 7. In verse, in verse 14. I read, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wickedness, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive if their sins kill their lands. In other words, when I see your faith, I'm going to answer your Are you there? Yes, God bless you. 
if my people, which are called my, by my name, if the members of deeper life, if my people that that say that Christ that are filled with the Holy Spirit will humble them all unto me and pray from them humble yourself. How are you going to humble yourself? Number one, you look at yourself. You are not qualified to appear before the Lord. You start yourself as you are starting yourself. Remember that I said to the pastor, he said, you sick, you didn't come to church. Why you didn't come to church? And I was sick, and this and that, this and that. Remember, you lied. Then another time, you remember that, that you were angry. You hated the anger against you. And then as you chicken around, you see, say, Lord, I'm sorry. This is what I did. This is what I did. I know that you don't like it. Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me from today. I will not continue with it again. You confess, you forsake. That's one way of humbling yourself. Go into fasting and prayer to humble yourself. You say, God, you are my, my Savior. You are the only one who can heal me. And then, when you do like that, God say your prayer. God is answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Look at in Mark school, Mark Gospel, chapter seven, chapter seven, Mark Gospel, chapter seven, in verse twenty-eight, and she answered and said unto him, Yes, yet the dog table eat drinks crumbs. The woman persisted, persevered. Maybe the Bible does not say so. The woman purpose in her heart. He said, today, he must come and heal my daughter. He must come and heal my son. He purpose as Jesus goes this way. Yes, the, the healing is not for the dog. And then he diverted God's side. Yes, he argued, he argued, he argued. My beloved brothers, if you pray in this church, in this church there was a program we held. The program was, was the topic was that pray until something yes you are still there remember pray until something happens pray pray as if you have not prayed before you must pray as if you have not seen God before you must pray as give God as not answer your prayer before when you pray I told you sometimes ago God don't have time in 1984 I prayed, I prayed one day since I was born. One day. One day means six in the morning. Six I'm praying. It was Wednesday like, Wednesday like this. this. Next it's morning, so God the following day. God saw my faith and truly. I'm standing before God. That was the first time in my life. I was, I was younger than this, 1984. I was second school, 1984. My beloved brother, you must persevere. You must stand. You must cry. You must call upon God. Yes, I you. Jesus' name. Give them the word of faith for your miracle. Praise the Lord. I said, you are going to pray. You are going to persevere. You are going to present yourself. And then you are going to proclaim. Going to proclaim. Look at it. In Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. In verse Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Are you there? Touch in verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their, the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. 
they overcame him. They overcome Satan. They overcome the devil, the enemy. They overcome Satan. They overcame poverty by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Testimony. Proclaim the word of faith. Even if you are sick, you know yourself how the thing is drawing you, how the thing is weakening you. You know how the thing is painful to you, painful to you. And then if somebody comes, eh, hey, bro, what thing happened to you? I said, ah, is that true? Is that true? true? Oh, that brother, that said he was paining like this. He was not even paining like that. He died. He died. The other sister died. He died. And then you, the man of faith, the woman of faith, I will never die. When you confess positive, he must stand. Can you allow that amen to that? In Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14. In verse 28. Numbers chapter 14. In verse what? 28. Say unto them, as truth lives, said the Lord, as he has spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. You know this story. You know this story. The spies went, came back with negative report. Those people are very tall, very big. In fact, we, they are judged. They are judged ourselves as grasshopper, very small, very that that equates insect. Grasshopper is an insect. The student they know the characteristic of insect. They equate an insect, an animal, insect. You hear that? As they spoke like that, the hearts of, of the children of Israel were melted and they cried, they murmured, they wanted to kill Moses and Aaron. God rose up. Only two people. Only two people. Who and who? God bless you, dear. Only two people. Joshua it. Joshua spoke the word of faith. Don't harm our man. Don't worry yourself. Stand on the word of God. God has been fighting for us. God is the one that brought us from the land of Egypt. God was the one that divided the race for us. We passed through the dry land. If God is for us, and that same God is with us, these people, we see them like bread. You know when you put bread in the water and the bread becomes melted, that is how they are going to be in our hands. We are going to defeat them. When God had that word of faith, God came down, spoke to Moses, Moses, this is these people. Whatever you say into my ear, that's what I'll do for you. All that that spoke evil on their own, written it down. Written it down. You see, in verse 29, the Bible says, Carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and all that will number of you, according to your whole number, from 20 years old and upward, which have murmured against me. All of them perish. In verse 38, but Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jufini, which were of the men that went to search the land, live still. My brother, speak positive. If you speak, speak and believe God, it will come to pass. You don't work, I'm going to have work. You are writing an exam, I'm going to pass. I must succeed. I must overcome. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Whatever you are confessing, whatever you say frequently, Often and often, that thing will register in the subconsciousness. Are you there with me? That thing will register in your subconsciousness. And when that thing registers in subconsciousness, it will come to my We always confess negative. I don't have anybody. I will die. I will die. I seek. I seek. I seek. You will seek. And you die. Whether you have anybody or not, I say, God is on my side. Let me tell you. I told my daughter, by the grace of God, no exam that I always fail. No exam I fail. No exam. I told her that before I wrote, I go to any exam, I give myself 100% assurance that I say any hard you sit it, I must pass. And that's how I used to be. When you always confess positive, you must succeed. You must overcome. You be the head, not the tail. You must prosper. You not be poor. When you confess 
that you are going to stand. You know, but you stand, you succeed, you prosper. And so this morning, what is your challenge? Confess positive. Believe God. When you speak, believe it. Stand on it. Have faith in God. It will pass in your life in Jesus' name. Rest on your feet. Let's talk to God. Rest on your feet. Commit yourself. Commit yourself. What is your challenge? What is your problem? Have faith in God. Believe in God. Yesterday and forever, it does not change. He is the God of that woman with the issue of blood. He is the God of centurion. He is the God of our people today. He is the God of our Father in the Lord. Pastor Lobo Yukumuyi, he will stay there in anywhere and speak a simple prayer. The prayer of the world. Open a mouth and pray. From me, a man of faith. Make me a woman of faith. Help me be down on your word. Help me pray. Up today, I will be. I'll not be. Oh God, have mercy on me. Open your mouth and pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. The Bible says, as mustard seed, you will command the mountain to move and the mountain shall move. Say, God, help me to have a strong faith. faith. I can move mountain in my life. Give me the little faith that can take away the problem in my life. Give me the little faith that can help Help me to open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Proclaim. Proclaim your success. Proclaim your victory. Proclaim your prosperity. Proclaim your healing. Proclaim your miracle. And you are going to get it. Open your mouth and pray. Don't confess negatively again. Don't confess you. My Bible says you be the head and hell. Above only and not beneath. Open up my prayer, that prayer now. Open up my prayer, that prayer now. Talk to God. Want to cry, say, God, lift up my faith. Help me, help me, help me. Others had faith in God and received miracle. Why not you? Why not you? Pray. See yourself. How long? How long will you continue to be like that? that? Continue to be more murmuring. How long will you continue learning? How long will you continue to have? They said they don't love me. Who told you? They love you. Their pastors care for you. It's because of faith. this morning, God will lift up your faith. God hear you. Say, God, increase my faith. Increase my faith. I want to be a faith. I want to be a woman of faith. I want to believe in you. I want to trust in you. Oh, God, any day, any time, I exercise a little faith. Oh, God, let miracle happen to me. I answer my prayers. Work wonders for me. My prayer, that prayer now. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. And this is you will persevere in prayer. Success will locate you. Miracle will locate you. Testimony will be your portion every day by day in Jesus' name. This word to you right now, the word of miracle, the word of healing. The secular man said to Jesus Christ, send 
thy word only. That's all. And my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only. And so send the word of deliverance, the word of salvation, the word of power. All that you need to do today, I'm sending them to you right now in Jesus' name. So wherever you are, get set, receive your miracle. Father, I want to thank you this very morning because we're faithful God. You love your sons and daughters. You are God of miracles. You are God of power. There is nothing, Lord, impossible with you. Satan cannot say no when you say yes. Sickness cannot say no when you say yes. Poverty cannot say no when you say yes. Death cannot say no. To all the miracles of sons and daughters this morning in Jesus' name. Father, I say the word of what? Deliverance. Healing, prosperity, open door. Let every one of them receive their needed miracle this morning in Jesus' name. Sons and daughters, Lord, that have defied the time and the opportunity to come to your house to pray, to re receive your word, to learn of you. Father, I pray. Nobody will come up and dead. Father, touch that brother. Father, touch that of them. Oh God, with their faith hands open. Receive your receive your healing. Receive your progress. Receive your promotion, your miracle and testimony in Jesus' name. I stand against all the wives of the devil. Any power of oh God that be militating and rising the life I mean, daughters come from left or right, physical or spiritual father. I command the mountain. I bring them down, down, down right now. But I thank you very much because I live with them with rejoicing. They are living with blessing. As they get some Lord, they will meet with miracles. As they go to their place of work, they will meet with miracles. As they go to their store, open their store, that Father, let me be ready for them. Right there. Thank you, Father, because your sons are blessed, your daughters are blessed, they are blessed. The children are blessed, even your servant is blessed. But you believe your master of prayers. May your name of God alone be highly honored. In this year, satisfy your children. All the miracles they need, let upon them will open their eyes to see miracles. As they sleep, they wake up. As they dream, they will dream miracles. They will dream favor, open door, blessing, healing, deliverance, freedom. Thank you, Father, because it is in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 